Let the living Torah guide you with our temple of Baron Avoda, the spiritual work for you and me. Welcome to our temple of Aaron Avoda of the month for October. All beginnings can be difficult. All beginnings can be difficult. A particular time that I was thinking about was our trip to Scotland. Don't you remember that? It's true. Fantastic trip. Wonderful trip. Still talk about it all the time. But the first day of it was awful. It was so bad. We didn't want to drive anywhere. We thought we'd train everywhere because you have to drive on the left side of the road in Europe. And that was a little bit scary to one of us at least. To me, I'm sorry. So we thought we could train everywhere, and uh, well, that didn't work out so well. The trains work a little bit differently. We were lugging like three suitcases behind us. It was just awful. And then I remember we finally got to the town, the original town we wanted to go to from Edinburgh. We trained all the way up to Inverness, and the hotel was at the top of this gigantic hill. And we had to carry these suitcases, wheel them all the way up to this gigantic hotel. And then we got to the hotel, and they didn't even have a reservations book. It was just like unbelievably awful. It was a disaster. If we could have started a vacation in the worst way possible, this horrible. would have been it. It was, it was horrible. But then as it turned out, that didn't actually define our trip. It got so much better. It ended up being one of the best trips. After that first day, things got fantastic. The best scotch distilleries, uh, just beautiful. We had, we had a great time that trip. We fantastic. did. And when we were reading the Parsha this week, we actually realized that our difficult beginning for our trip mirrors a lot of the difficult beginning God had with creating the world. So last week we read Parsha Brachi, we read God creating the world, God creates this beautiful, perfect world, Garden of Eden, and then what do people do? They sin. They eat from the tree of knowledge, and they get kicked out of the garden. No good. Not very good. Not then very good. God thinks, okay, we kicked them out of the Garden of Eden, maybe now it'll start, we'll be good. We've we'll, got we'll it We'll be now. good now, and then... Cain and Abel. Then there's murder. Not such a great start. Then the world keeps getting worse and worse and worse until finally God decides, all right, starting over. I need a mulligan. New product. Let's New restart. Product. We're going to flood the world and we're going to save one family. We're going to save Noah. He's the most righteous in his generation. We're going to save him. We're going to start over. Okay. We're going to start over. We're going to have a fresh, clean start. Exactly. And then do you know what actually happens? What's the first thing that Noah does after he gets back onto dry land after the flooding? The flood goes away. The flood goes away. Noah goes onto dry land. The first thing he does, he gets drunk. He gets drunk and passes out in his tent. Bad things happen. Yes. And not a kid's story. Not, it turns out the Noah and the flood is not such a kid's story. Kid story. There are animals and that's about it. That's about the only kid thing about it, so. And, and I think what God realizes at that moment is I can't keep doing this. I can't keep working and working to have the perfect beginning. If all I want is the perfect beginning, all I want is that perfect first step, I'm never gonna get anywhere. And that's actually what the symbol of the rainbow teaches us. The symbol of the rainbow is God's promise to the world that, okay, beginnings are difficult. We might stumble, we might make missteps, we might sin, we might not do everything perfectly right from the get-go, but that doesn't mean that that's the end of our journey. It's just the first step, and the most important thing is getting up and taking that second step after we stumble. Just keep going, just keep going. So what we're thinking about right now, and I think the avoda of the moment of this week of what we're trying to think about is like, what in your life right now, maybe you've taken a first step. Maybe you've said, I'm gonna try this, this new thing after the high holidays, I'm gonna start over again at this one particular way. And maybe it hasn't gone exactly your way. It hasn't gone the way you'd want to. I know with me eating a lot better was one of the things. And I, let's just say we went to Basil last night and it, there was <laughs> lots a, of pizza, lots of pizza being eaten. And maybe so, you, maybe you sat there on Yom Kippur and you said, okay, I'm going to light Shabbat candles. That's going to be my avodah. That's going to be my spiritual work this year. I'm going to light Shabbat candles. And then it's been one week the and I got home from work came, late and then I forgot and then I had to put the kids to sleep and you haven't quite gotten there yet. It's okay. Keep going. We've got a whole new week. Keep going. It's about that relationship that matters. Keep it moving. Even if the beginning is a little bit difficult, you gotta keep going. The beginning is always. It's true. Every journey begins with a single step, but sometimes the most important step is that second step. You take that first one, you stumble, but yeah. you get back up and you take the second step. No one ever asks you about the second step, only <laughs> the first step, right? Exactly. So we hope for you that you remember that all beginnings can be difficult, but you can keep going and you can take that second step 
together with us. Every week this month, come to Temple of Aaron and our services and hear us talk about what it means to start over, what, it, what a new beginning looks like, the difficulties of beginning and trying to move forward um, in this special, special time of the month of October. This has been your Temple of Aaron Abodah. Look forward to next time. Thanks everyone.